There's something running through the, the coordinates. Oh my god. I'm afraid of that. All the rest of the stuff can just screw off, honestly. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Archduck, and welcome to Alone in the Dark. Chapter 2. Uh, last chapter, we went with David Harbour. We're investigating the disappearance of our client's uncle at this spooky mansion thing. And we've been going to basically this alternate dimension and stuff like that. That looks an awfully lot like New Orleans. Without further ado, let's hop into this chapter 2 to find out what happened to the uncle. All right, looks like we jumped straight into it too, so I'm just gonna play the cinematic that happened last video too. Detective Carnby, how did you, where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Plenty of things. Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective, I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do <laughs> this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. She told him. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to I want to try something out with this talisman. I think I can follow Jeremy, the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? Taroea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? You're acting kind of crazy. Him, right? Yeah. Of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. He's losing it. I'm losing it. And now we're back. We need to find an astronomical clock mentioned in the commonplace book and Dersetto's boiler. Yeah, this is where the little girl was eating in the prologue. Commonplace, oh, broken plates. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. We have a location. The well. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is for the most part busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dossetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Oh, we got a lot of southern names, so that's interesting. And we got a room six key. What was the room six key again? Oh, shoot. This is going to make me look back at that, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay, number six is Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabetta Parousi. And then we got another. I saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but... You can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Thank you so much. Where's the where's the freaking uh, wine cellar? Wine cellar's probably in the basement. Yeah, but it's locked, is it not? I think we need we might need to take a trip. I need the key. All right, we're gonna take a trip to the basement. But there's something in the kitchen garden. We can go in the kitchen garden real quick. Check that out. Although there was a clock right here, was there not? I heard a clock. So it must be close. I can still pull out my gun. Clock. Yeah, very strange uh, things happening here. Oh, the clock. Oh, God, the stuttering. 
looks like some kind of rot. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace book. Looks like a cool clock, not gonna lie. This would be awesome to have in my house. Astronomical like clock! The that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken. And missing some pieces. Okay, so we're missing some pieces for that. We just gotta fix the clock. Oh! Didn't even mean to go in here. Uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. Are you it's drunk? Fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. Was that your life? If you've seen Grace, girl, about yay high. Can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just hiding somewhere. But we can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked. Time I guess you understand. Do not like oh, you, sir. Well, yeah, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. Uh, I don't want to be scratching anything that you just said. That's uh, real creep behavior right there. Um, the coffee reminded Detective Conby of an old barfly he used to know. He detested him. There was no getting around it. McCarthy was going to have a hard time getting on his good side. Cool. I didn't want to know that. But we're here. And we're here for the better. Why am I clipping into that? Hello. Got art. Looks like everything's back to normal here. Then uh, might as well not check it out, right? Is there anything in this room? That uh, I'm in room four uh, is explored, so we don't have to do anything else. Knock knock. Okay, knock knock. I got a gun. Uh, might as well do some snooping in here, right? Nothing. Ah, uh, what a load of bull hockey. Why do these doors keep on closing? I'm the police. I'm supposed to investigate, not close doors behind me. That looks like a fancy door. Too fancy for me. Man, I can't get in there. So that's a locked door. But this one is also locked. Brilliant. Can I just jump down here? No, but there's a ladder. That means I can get in and out of that really quickly. That's actually really good to know. Try the key you got from the Baste. Oh, shoot. Hello? Anybody here? Nope. Alright. Oh, I got a flashlight. That's right. And a cool looking book. Lost plantations of Louisiana. So you're saying this place has got history. Bad history. It's all that I can get out of it, honestly. I can't really... At a certain point, I just kind of blank out, not gonna lie. So what if they uh, do a history lesson as a puzzle, it's gonna be really bad for me. Yeah, they're still stuttering in this. Interesting. Can I have? Can I has? If I shoot it, can I have it? I don't have enough bullets. What is that? Yeah, let's see what happens if it's we just... Shut. It's wedged shut. What happens, what happens if we unwedge it? What? What do you mean, wedge door? Unwedge the door! <laughs> What's the problem, sir? Okay, well, let's just continue going, I guess. You're asking me. All right, well, I'm going. Can I just open this still? Hello? Oh, we can't, uh, can't unlock it. Cool. Everything's on fire. Everything is good. Everything is fine, as the dog meme would say. I'm just covered in oil. Cool, I got some bolt cutters. That's always good to have in a giant mansion filled with nightmares, fire, oil, and it seems like... Are those bats? Am I becoming Batman right now? Uh, oh. 
Yeehaw! Oh my god, I still have the bolt cutters from the other realm. Everything's normal. I'm just gonna call the upside down, to be honest, since we're playing as Hopper. Yeah. Anyway, oh, there's bolts right here. Can we use the bolt cutters on it? No, we can't. All right, now we're in the, the garden. Freaking crows. I'll get one eventually. Is this the well? No, it's, that's that's not the well. Where, where's the well? Sir. Oh! We couldn't open this earlier. I'm just gonna do that so we can get up there easily. hi -ya! Get bolted. Cutted. Got it. What what I get? A water hose? Nice. What is the water hose for? I forgot what the water hose is for. Uh, I'm just gonna go to the basement a little bit. Can I go to the basement? What is this? There's that cat again. Hey, Mr. Meowkers. I don't know what I did, but, uh, must be good for something, right? Shoot, what is this? I'm a fight cat? No, Mr. Meowkers too! Impossible. Hmm. Broken plate inside the... How about if we use a hose? I'm so smart. Uh, is that gonna flood the whole place? A broken plate. Large decorative plate. Okay, well, I guess that's for the, uh, the clock. Tick tock on the clock. Something, something tonight. D don't fight to the, see the sunlight. If you know, you know. Okay, so now we just gotta go to the basement again. We have the room six key. Wait, we have the room six key. Why didn't we go in here? Is it this room? Yeah, use the room six key. What do you know? No, nothing. Where is everyone in the house? Quick question. Hello? How eccentric. I hope there's no one behind here. It'd be a real shame if I shot you. <laughs> Accidentally, because I thought you were a monster and I have severe PTSD. But you're not here, so it's not going to happen. Karosi's journal. You need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Ponchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. The Pirates of Poncha Train sound like a discount uh, Disney ride, to be honest. <laughs> and uh, is so Perosi is uh, the predecessor to all those, uh, what are the astrology people? I think so. We have found the link. What uh, what do we have here? I must return. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Yeah, that's great, Jeremy, but uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like alchemy or star constellations. I have an idea, Mr. Krabs. It might just work. So it's either going to be a Scorpio, and Aquarius. I already forgot him. M. Arrow. Waves. 
M, arrow, waves. None of these make sense. Examine the paintings. What? That's a hint? What the F? Oh, hello. These paintings got some grim looking rot on them. Ah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. Okay, we got a rattlesnake somewhere. I feel like they did nothing. Oh, I see. You start a artist colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. One, been ten, fifteen years or more now. Eleven. Oh, 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 wait. Is that one, two, ten, eleven? Is that eleven, ten? So it's gotta be the squiggly. So Scorpio is the first one. Right. Let's just check if Scorpio can be an option. Scorpio, go! Scorpio is not a freaking option! Objectives. Cross-reference names of Astarte are to get numbers. Cross-reference number proceeds shown to get symbols. I don't even know what you mean, man. The order of the, the painting give order symbols. What? Order of the paintings? What? Args, Bozing, Heath. Argus Mosing Keith. Argus Mosing Keith. Argus. I wish I can. Okay. Two. Mosing. Not two nine. Keith. Four. Two nine four. Two two nine four. Got it. Thank you. Hence two nine four. Where is it? Okay. Two. Pisces. Libra. Gemini. Pisces something Gemini. So we know this one is that. Is uh that one? I think it's that one, right? Then we could just flip through that. Nope. Taurus. Ah. Got it. Very fun puzzle, gotta say. If I didn't have any of those, uh, any of that help, I would have been totally lost. Uh, okay, before we do that, we got that piece, but should we go and do the other thing? What are the objectives? Do repair the decorative lamp, the uh, astronomical clock. So, let me just do that real quick. And I feel like we're gonna go into. Brilliant! We went into the other realm. How often is that gonna be? Am I gonna, like, die if I step in that stuff? I'm concerned. I'll step in anyway. All right, that's that's bloody disgusting. That is literally truly awful. Oh. Huh. Detective yeah. Combi had a hard time understanding what had happened. You think you have a hard time understanding. So there's becoming a rift between worlds and it's becoming more frequent. Got it. And we got another piece. I think I've seen this somewhere. Uh, what? Oh, it's a uh, starlight pointing that way. Got it. All right, there it goes. I wouldn't know how to have done the corner pieces like that, but uh, we got the clock started. At a very precise place. Oh my God, it stopped at exact, exact, stopped at a place. Cool. Oh, uh, it stopped at exact place. I get it. Big circle, six, four, three, six, four, three. Oh, six, sorry. <laughs> All right. Screwed up a little bit. A picture in the black glass. It's showing me something. That looks like the hallway right it's behind the hallway us. Yeah. Outside Jeremy's room. I like how it just pointed us that direction. Uh, cool. I thought Jeremy's room was that way. Oh, the place we already explored? Knock, knock! Anybody there? There's probably going to be somebody behind this door. Jeremy? There's a trunk. Emily is here. Emily's here. Okay. Is it not this room right here? 
sir. Okay, I'm just gonna open the door again. I'm gonna open every. I'm alone in the dark. Oh shoot! Oh god! Stutter, stutter! I can't see a thing. Don't stranger things me. I know what comes out of red light, and it's not good things. Interesting. Cool setting you got here. Huh. I made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's memories. Oh, this is Jeremy's memories. Yeah, um, so we're looking for him in his memories. So that's the, the oil rig thing, right? What was that? Oh, that's just a, a pump thing. All right, we're going down. We're going timber. <sighs> But I like the vibe. But I do like the vibe. Can I close the door behind me? Oil rig report. 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hotwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. Huh. I didn't know Jeremy was a painter. That dog. I need the key. I need the key! What if I look at my map? There is no map. There are no maps where we're going. Oh, I did not like that horn. That was a cool use of that horn. I'm not gonna lie. That was sick. What is the... Uh, okay, they're, they're just fireflies. Torch bugs, if you will. Lightning bugs, if you will, will. I, uh, I'm not liking it. Not liking it one bit. Cool bullets. I know what that means. That means we're going to get a jetty key. Hmm. Is it, what is a jetty key? Is that the key to the other place? Something missing. Bridge operator. Smooth operator. Aha! A yeti key. Hello? Health inspector. I got a bullet on with your name on it. Oh, shoot. There's a whole bunch of enemies out there. A whole bunch of Vecnas, if you will. What is this? Bridge lever. Is there something you want to say, sir? I hear something out there. Am I going in? Water? Yeah, I'm not. What are you? You're dead, that's what you are. Hi! 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 Get! Why use melee if you got a gun? You know? And alcohol, more importantly. I am drunk, AF! Did two giant swigs of alcohol. No, I down two whole <laughs> things. It 
Cool. Hope it doesn't fall out from under. Wait. Alright, nothing to fear. Nothing's gonna break out behind that, is there? Right. Right. Got it. So pretty much the combat is a shoot gun, hit back and forth. But th I expect this to be more of a lore kind of based game anyway, and noir elements. That would hurt. And don't tell me, uh, boss battle, right? Yeah, okay. Bye-bye. Can I, uh... Alright. So... Oh, a hatchet. I would much rather take a hatchet. And a swig of my whiskey. Okay. Just gonna go in here real quick. I like how it's giving me this maze. Ooh. Shovel or axe. Yeah, shovel. Definitely shovel. Now we got a, a, a long ranged shovel and we got a long ranged revolver. Oh, that's more short range, but. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining. Hey, Mr. Crocodile. Get lost. Oh shoot, it can actually, yeah, I forgot about that mechanic. Yeah, try to get up here, a-hole. Where'd he go? Yeah, he's just, he's just waiting for me, it seems like. I'm gonna load another bullet. Come on, sucker. Come on. Get out of the ground, I dare ya. All right, enough playing around. Get shoveled! Get shoveled! Oh, there's two of them! Time to get the other shovel! Yeah, come on, come on, nah. Get your head above the surface. There we go! Hit him! I got him. I killed him. That easy. That's why you don't... That's why you don't, uh... Deal with Archduck! Yeah, break through a barrier. Cool. Hopefully that didn't degrade my shovel too much. Do I hear another type of monster some nearby? I do. Wake up! Swamp thing! Meat! Shovel to the face! Cool. Hope I didn't wake up the whole community. If I did, that would be a real shame. I'm gonna go back and get a weapon. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that. Don't mind anything spooky coming out of here or about to kill me, right? No spooky killers? David Harbor, P.I. Hi. That's what you get, bullets. I got quite a few of them now. Yeah, there's also like crouching in here, but uh, why would I do that, you know? Oh, if I crouch, it's not gonna be able to hear me that well. Got it. That's not what I meant to do! That's such a weird button. Oh, it did, uh, it did go toward that bottle. Am I supposed to go over there? I think I am.
Okay, I think the throwing mechanic could have used a little bit more work. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm running for it. I feel like I could just run. I feel like I could just run through everything. To be honest, screw fighting the enemies. There's got to be a way to get to the other side. Got a way to go to the other side. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see. You know, if I kill these things, I doubt they're gonna come back. And there's a ladder up there, so I might as well, uh... La 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 You can't get me ha 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 This pump can stop moving maybe I can Only if it stopped moving Like this Yeah, uh, run. Climb the tower, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening to my computer? Holy crap. Oh, 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 there's fire everywhere. Uh, ooh, uh, I hope it doesn't crash my game. What in the world? What, what kind of computers does... Did you guys see that? What kind of computers are they running at HQ Nordic? THQ Nordic. There's not gonna be a section where I'm gonna be like, whoa, and fall down, right? Again, why am I climbing this tower? And why am I going to the Batman, uh, Bat Lair? But lovely fire, I wish it was a little better processing. If I didn't have a top of the line computer right now, it would probably crashed. Now what? Well, I assume you could just zip line across like a superhero, which apparently you can. Wire. Ah, uh, yeah, rope. Okay, got it. Yeah, tough cloth. Got it. And now we zip line like an action hero. La 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 la. La la la. I'm David Harbour, doing weird things, and I gotta keep my hat intact. Hold my whole body up with one arm. All right, now we're officially in Louisiana swamps. How much ammo I got? Plenty. Okay, I'm just gonna go run through the, the forest. Lovely atmosphere as always. And now I'm going. Is that a gun? Or something running through the, the wilderness. Oh, my god. I'm afraid of that. All the rest of the stuff can just screw off, honestly. But that, I'm crutching crouch. How am I supposed to avoid that thing? And I'm turning off my light. That thing is that thing is scary. Uh, interesting. I don't see it, but I can hear it puffing, huffing, and uh, I don't think I can outrun it like the other ones, like the 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 measly enemies. This one seems like an actual thing that could take you out in one hit, which I do not want to experience. So I'll meet you guys after the long crawl. One long crawl later. It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, stutter. Holy crap. The hateful mound has a deer skull outside of it. Jeremy, are you here? I'm kind of crazy. I'm kind of, uh, don't want to hear your memories anymore. 
kind of upset that I'm here trying to find you, Jeremy. Don't come any closer. I'm armed. I'm Get armed too, lady. Face. Who are That's you? what she said. What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon DeSetto. Uh, here we go again. Quiet. Lucky us, we just got out in time. Also, did I have another gun when falling back? Hopefully we don't go there again. But it's very awful for that lady that's stuck back there. Oh well. That's why we don't mess with voodoo or juju or any of that stuff. Uh, palette knife. And now I have a palette knife. I couldn't use my finger or gun. But a knife that I could have easily done anything else with. Cool. And it magically disappeared. Look at that. Huh. Burrow lens instructions. Yeah, it just says how to do the telescope. Got it. And we got cellar room key. Oh, that's what we needed. So we couldn't have gone to the boiler room if, even if we wanted to. Got it. Dog collar. I can go to the basement now. Oh. Now we're talking. Cool, I get an upgrade to my gun. Oh my god. Okay, weapon one is that. Weapon two is a shotgun. Where did you get that shotgun? <laughs> you don't want to know. Huh? I locked it. Who wants it? Sorry, I had to do that. A pickaxe. Shotgun shells. Don't mind if I freaking do. Pickaxe. Don't mind if I freaking freaking do. About to be Jason Voorhees part two up in here. Oh, and a lot of shotgun shells. Cool. Reload that. Yeah, I'm going to definitely carry that. And I'm going to just going to have the shotgun because I feel like if I'm going to have any trouble, I'm just going to kill them with one shot. Anyway, bada bing, bada boom. Cool. Boom. Here I am. I wish I could just like slam open doors like LA Noir. Sell a key. Hopefully, the cellar doesn't go too long. Because cellars have a uh, knack to being overly large. Is that electricity? Switch. That's cool. I wish I could switch this off. <laughs> Looks like I can. Oh, shoot. It worked. Yeah, I'm going to turn that back on whenever I'm done with this. This is not the mood. Yeah, valve handle. Cool. Zs. Uh, can I turn that back on? Of course I can't, because why not? Better not just come out of nowhere, because if you do, I'm just going to scream. I will scream. I will shoot. I'm an American. I know how to use a gun. It looks like I'm in the other world right now. Or maybe they crossed over. Is this the big crossover of the summer? Alright, we're going to... Ah, uh, bring it! Alright, I couldn't see anything. Oh, my health is very low. 
I better drink alcohol. I know I was going to say I would use the shotgun, but I'm not. Also, wait. This is the re this is the normal world. How's that thing in the normal world now? Are you sure I can't just run through the vent, Steam? Yeah, turn that turn that crib off. Thank you. Now I can go into the deep dark depths without being my eyes blurred by steam, amnesia steam. Jeremy. Well, I can't shoot him. Well, that's the turn of events, Jeremy being here, because uh, I was wondering where the next couple of chapters were going to be, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to touch him. Uh, I guess I'll touch him. Get up. He's a mimic. Are those were those spores or eyes? The body. Broken plate. Larger drinker. Wood like quality. Do I put that in the the clock again? Yeah. I okay. I think there's gonna be like a cutscene once I walk out of here. Pretty much. Right. Ah, a note. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win. Because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. I just found that right now. What is this? Another plate for the talisman. Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. Uh... Okay, because I I didn't expect that to be there whatsoever. I thought the clock was cool, but there's just one side of the boiler. Okay, so there's one in Cassandra's room. Yeah, okay, so we gotta go back upstairs to the gallery. Meanwhile, there's just a madman running through your house with a shotgun. All right, we have finally made it to this room, which now we have the sitting room key. Cool. So a whole new world. There's something missing. Yeah, France. France is missing. Uh, who would miss him? Except the French, obviously. What room is this? Hello? Oh, this is the little girl's room. Not like the little girl's room, but... I can turn. I will shoot you right now. Uh, no, but it's the character we played in the prologue way this ago. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. It's Ruth. Good old Ruth. Why does she seem so familiar? I don't know, man. I don't like music boxes, man. Huh. Yeah, I got a real big surprise for you. It's called a buckshot coming out of the barrel. Not much wind-up time with that one. Anyway. Yeah, these are the rooms. So, in the prologue, we were in here, and we eventually just went to Jeremy's thing right there, which I I guess is Cassandra's room. But we could check the bathroom real quick. Ew. Roaches. Cool. Alright, time to investigate. Cutscene! Out there, you drawing something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. 
Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. So there's something weird going on here, not gonna lie. I don't know if there's some mysticism happening around here. I know in the prologue she got like, it cut to black right before she got eaten by one of those big monster things. So she might be in, in on it, the whole thing. Who knows, we'll find out. There's more of that rot again. Like it's guiding me to do something, but what? Uh-huh. If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the stain. Oh, I didn't mean to cut you off there. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. Rot. Okay. And we just got a... Uh, Margrave Liniment. Yeah, okay. And we can put one over here. I don't think I have everything I need. Yeah, I, I know you don't have everything you need. It's another one of those strange padlocks. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think I might have the... <laughs> I think I might have the key. <laughs> Let's go find the other bottle. Where is Emily? Where is everybody? Is this Lottie's room? Locked medicine box. What's here? So this is the Lottie room, which is. Oh, it's right there. Well, I'm going to try something. Did I unlock it? No. Anything up here? Ah, uh ha. -huh. I have something to open it. I don't know whose uh, place this is, but uh, we here now. Oh. Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. Thank you, ma'am. That was a weird pour animation. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss.
Alright, she don't know nothing. But, um... It's so weird how everyone's just kind of like, Oh, I know stuff about Jeremy, but I really don't know stuff about Jeremy. Figure it out, pretty much. Yeah, this place is a wreck. Real dump. Right on the piano, too. Oh, that's a shame, man. Oh, uh, uh, Bagnette. Bag, 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 baguette. Oh. Am I supposed to be here yet? I feel like I'm not supposed to be here yet. Hmm. And that's my cue to go. This part of the house seems very decrepit and uh, breaking down. Oh, I can go down here. Interesting. Got it! Medicine box key. I knew I was supposed to go through here or something. And then we can get the bottle, and then we can get the ep out of here. Let me guess. This over here is also locked. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, wow, what a beautiful room. There's more of that aggressive rot. Common place of evil. Common place of evil. There lies virtue. And stark irreverence. Careless thought. It's a poem. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, there it is. The, the alone in the dark. I just skimmed over it. You could read it if in the full thing, too. Thus, we remain alone in the dark. That's kind of cool. Now to the medicine box, which I think is right here. Honestly, I think, right? No, it's further down. This one is right here. Alright, so I wasted a bullet trying to open this thing, but now... I got the thing I needed. And now we got another medicine bottle. Hiya! Now I gotta put them in the right order, because why... not... The rot made the shape of a snake. There must be something... What do you mean? Here. Maybe it has something to do with the numbers on the labels. Uh, two, five, one. I didn't even get that, but uh, there we go. Why couldn't I just bust the glass open? Who knows? To the boiler room we go. All right, now are we gonna find Jeremy? Jarmy? And let me guess, I have to put it in the right order too. Oh my god! Uh, come on, man. This is gonna take forever. I did it without even looking at it. Final attachment numbers behind, underneath the boiler. Boiler. Hmm. Nine, five, seven. Nine, five, seven. No, nine, seven, five. My bad. That's the wrong number. That's the right number. Black glass. <sighs> That's the wine cellar. One of Jeremy's memories. Wine cellar. Boy. I can't wait. Oh boy. It turned into the spooky realm, didn't it? It must definitely. Look at these candles. Luring me up to this wine cellar. Ooh. Yep, okay. I knew it. I knew it would work. You're getting good at this, Carnby. Yeah, I don't know why you want this to work. It seems like a little creepy to me. Not gonna lie. Now what do we got here? There's something missing. What's this? Could it be this right next to the door? Oh my god. Look at that. Got it. And now there's gonna be spoopy monsters. A sledgehammer? Don't mind if I freaking do. Howdy. How are you? Oh god. What's happening here? Ah! <laughs> he was sideways on me. What did what he was sideways on me? What 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 just happened? Hey, uh, don't do that again. What are you glitched into the Door, sir. Hey, how how are you? And Ugh. 
Jeez. Alright, I don't want to waste my bullets, but... I'm not going to waste my bullets. You're just going to stand right there while I reload my gun. Cool. That guy seemed like he was uh, a little more difficult and also was trying to rip my guts out from the side, but also that was a weird animation, so... Uh, stutter again. Jeremy sketched this chapel in his book, so it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it, though. Looks like we need three more, two more medallions. Need. Yeah, you think... So there's a path over there. Might as well just go over here. La 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 la! Come on in, the water's fine! Well, that's the guy we need to be worried about. Come on in! Walk this way, you and me, babe! Hey, hey! Yeah, I think sneaking here is the move. Although I cannot see anything. Are they are they blind? Hopefully they're blind because I can't see a thing. Thank you for that shovel. And those shotgun shells. Well, it looks like I don't need to sneak anymore, but I will. I'll continue to sneak a little bit more. Hopefully this bozo does not, uh, see me. Okay. Well, sneaking is overpowered in this game. I need to take note of that. And something happened. Interesting. Keep giving me bullets like candy. That looks promising. Giant fire. A brazier. And don't mind if I take the shovel. I think I already have a shovel, but never too safe. God, I still can't see. Q is such a weird mechanic to throw something, you know? You think it would be E and then... E again. I guess we go down. That's the talisman. Thank you, sir. He doesn't see me, right? Nope. Just like Indiana Jones. Look at him. Disgusting looking. He's got little worms crawling out of him. Need it happen? Oh, I wasn't crouched. Yeah, I, I kind of saw you a little bit before you actually uh, came out. I'm going to get the sledge. Switch to the shotgun real quick. Cool. Very cool. Man, it's giving me a lot of pistol bullets. That looks like a new enemy. He sees me. Oh, shoot! Hi! Hit him! Hit him! What, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Shoot him! Hit him! Do something! What are you doing? I try to hit him with a sledgehammer. <laughs> what? Yeah, kaboom, kaboom, right? How about? Shoot. Uh. 
think I got blocked a little bit. All right, space to dodge a little bit. Jeez, man. I got four bullets total. But that was absolutely needed because that guy knew exactly where I was the entire time. That's unfortunate. The, the sneaking mechanic and the combat stuff is kind of weird, not gonna lie, with this game. And the melee combat's kind of not the best either. Here. Let's reload the gun. And the sneaking, I feel like there's a lot of stuff mechanically this game could be better at. I'm not saying it's a bad game, I love the atmosphere, but... Darn. There we go. We just had to line them up like that. That had that was super intelligible. That was some of the best stuff I've ever seen. Clue and puzzle wise in a long time. Bravo. Bravo. I'm a little salty. This place looks like that one area in Lord of the Rings. Mountain of the Dead or whatever. More bullets and shotgun shells. They like to keep me stocked. Because apparently there's bullets and shotgun shells of my caliber down in the depths here. Oh my god. 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 What is happening? Well, that was the most fear I've ever had in this game. <laughs> Interesting. Took my bullets. I'm loading. <laughs> I didn't save. Crap. I should really learn how to save because I've had more bullets than I used to. So it gives me the bullets and it wanted me to shoot right there. I think I'm supposed to... I think I'm just supposed to just run, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to... So it was purposeful. It was purposeful. Got it. I was on purpose. Drink my rum. Duck and weave. Dodge and weave. Press space. Well, that was convenient, that fell. Ooh. Yeah, I was right. I was supposed to run out of there. Aha! The last talisman. Real Indiana Jones type crap. Got it. Now what do we got here? Now I just gotta get to the chapel. Unscathed. Hopefully the chapel is like right here. If it is, that'd be awfully convenient. Wait, is it right here really? Oh, thank God that's oh my god, it literally is right here. Huh. Ain't that a quinky dink? So that one goes up here. Yeah, okay. And that one just goes like that. Then bird doohickey goes this way. Okay, that one wasn't lined up properly. Cool. Oh my god, it's a dead woman. I mean, she may not be dead. Please don't touch her. Jeremy? Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. <gasps> but keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? 
How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with some. The Dark Man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. I feel like Jeremy's gonna be Jeremy. eaten. I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that gossip place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. And what's all the business about Teruea? Why did you want to go there? Oh, I can't go there. I'm not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! Ugh. Huh. Oh, and the body's here? Is she... Is she napping? Interesting. This gets more convoluted every step I take. By everything. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tied glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Teruaya. Oh, my love. Jeremy. Luggage key. So it sounds like he's trying to bring back... He tried to bring back his lady love right here. Um, Snow White. She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Interesting. Yeah, Snow White right there. Uh, tried to be brought back to life by Jeremy. And it was not successful when he did some pact with the devil. Hmm. Tragic. Yeah, use the bar low lens. Okay, adjust focus. Ah! I was blinded by the light. Whoa. Find the talisman coordinates for Terra Leto. Oh, right here. Sweet. Oh my god, another puzzle. Alright, good. That's it's not as convoluted as the other puzzles. Thank you. 947. I don't even have to move Ooh, it. What's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? That's the dining room. It should be right through there. Chapter 3, here we come. Right? Oh. Here. Chapter 3! There we go. Okay, I thought it was gonna... I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Jeremy never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Jeremy once found important. How does that work? 
Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Taroeya. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> I, yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The Dark Man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Sweet. Well, that was chapter two, everybody. Uh, if you got this far, I would like to thank you all for watching so very much. Uh, if you liked the video, please like, subscribe, do all that other jazz. Thank you all, and have a good day.